Hello and welcome to a Weekly Stuff Podcast Let's Play. I'm Jonathan Lack. And I'm Sean Chapman. And we are here to play Hitman. Yes, we are. We are here once again for us. For the first time for the viewers, Jonathan. We had a little technical difficulties when we tried to record a Hitman Let's Play for the first time, so we're going to do it again. And, uh, Sean, you called this your favorite game of 2016. Yes, and I would still say it is my favorite game of 2016. So we just want to play around in it, because it's a fun, goofy game. It is a fun, goofy game, and there are millions and millions of things to do, and they're constantly adding, adding new stuff. So even though I have, as you can kind of see here with all my mastery and... and challenge completed stuff i have played a huge amount of this game already i've unlocked so much i've just unlocked an absurd amount of stuff you know my favorite my my most prized possession is of course santa 47 yes but anyways so i've played the crap out of this game but they keep on adding new uh, mission types in the uh, form of these escalation contracts and some of them i have not done yet so that's kind of going to be what this video is is jonathan you are going to pick an escalation contract for me to do and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. And then in part two of this video, you're going to pick an escalation contract for me to do. Yes. I also have level 20 mastery on everything. And we're going to see how we do. I'm very excited. All right. So hand me the controller. Let's I'll figure hand you the controller. Let's John. see how we're going to get started. So Sean, I want you to do the Bahadur Dexterity. Okay. This is one of my favorites. You have not done it yet. No, it is one of the newer ones. So. so it's one of the ones they added this year then. So I'm handing off the controller to you. I have picked an escalation contract for you to do in Marrakesh, which is my favorite of the maps. Although they're all good. Yes, they are. Okay, so, and just as a brief ex uh, explanation for those who have not played Hitman, one, go pick up Hitman. It's awesome. But two, if you're not fully convinced yet, you will be convinced by the end of this video. Yes. Um, what these escalation missions are is that you have, you're given this target on level one, so I'm in with these sort of specific conditions. So I have to kill this... Um, nice elderly gentleman who I know where this guy is and I have to kill him using a battle axe which luckily I also know where to find a battle axe on this map and um, I can be wearing any disguise but once I complete that um, objective and I escape then we will move to level two where they will add new objectives they might throw a twist onto the existing objectives and that will keep on stacking up and stacking up um, until we get to level five which is the max um, level so I'm going to you know let's just start at the beginning because I just want to be able to take in um, I want to go in right on this one, so we're going to go in the yeah. right way. Okay, as Santa. Yes, as Santa Forty Seven. It's not necessarily the closest starting position, but it's close enough. I'm um, going to take Krugermeyer. This is one of the most important stages of Hitman is planning, obviously, yeah. because this can make or break any run in Hitman. Absolutely. I mean, this this um, first um, condition is not particularly difficult, so no. it's not actually that big of a deal. But I'm going to just get everything loaded up, anyways. So this is more, sort of my usual default is I bring in the lockpick in the shuriken unless it's a map that doesn't need the lockpick. And then let's just put a sniper rifle up here because why not? You might need it later. You might not. Who, Who knows? knows? But the work has been done for me. Ooh, that is a sniper rifle I don't think I have. Yes. It's a good one. I have all the sniper rifles in the game. There are two good sniper rifles. The one I picked is the one that is silenced and has the double scope. And then oh, there's another good. one that doesn't quite have the double scope, but it's like super silenced. It I has have, like subsonic bullets and everything. I have that one, and I love that one. Yeah. Um, sadly, it doesn't zoom in as far as you might like, but the silence is it makes up for it. Yeah, it is, it is a powerful weapon for sure. And here we see uh, a key feature of Hitman on consoles, which is ludicrously long loading times. Yes. And also, like, kind of baffling loading times in that some of them, they're usually fairly long, and then every once in a while you get a loading screen that's just like, nope, it just loaded into the map immediately. Yeah, I don't know really how it works. Yeah, it's, it's variable in ways that loading screens usually are not. But we do get all these nice hints, you know. Yeah, the guards investigating dead bodies might blame you for the murder if you stick around. It's a good hint for life as well as Hitman. Yes, yeah, like, don't stick around where there are dead bodies is a policy I've followed. Um, luckily, it's not a, uh, an unless occurrence you're, I've had to run uh, into too often. Unless you're a doctor or mortician, it's generally inappropriate. Yes. All right, so Sean, you are Santa 47. Yes. And you have to go kill the headmaster with a battle axe. Yes. How are you going to do this? Um, well, like I said, I know exactly where the headmaster is and I know where the battle axe is. So I'm just going to head over there. This is going to be a very quick run for this first one because I've, as I said, I've played these, uh, this game a lot. I've played on these maps a lot. Though it's been a while since I was in Marrakesh specifically, so it might take me a second. You went the remember. wrong way if you're going to the headmaster. Well, I'm just sort of like getting out into the main area. And okay. Remembering where I am, getting my, getting my bearings again. 
let's take a second to remember because this is one of the more like those stranger maps because it's laid out in this like very big plaza that has the sort of two um areas the school that's over here to the right and then there's the consulate that's over there yeah and i actually i feel like i almost never actually start at that starting one because I, i'm already turned around but i think you go this way right uh, from the starting area, if you just went left, like, you would arrive right at the headmaster. Yeah. So, if you go right here, yeah. and you go through the crowd. This is also where you get all these crowd effects. Yes, all these simple, dumb AI. Hitman on PS4 can run at 60 FPS, not when there's crowds. No. But the crowds are good. The crowds are very good. Yes. And then, yeah, you just passed where I usually put in a, uh, a pickup, but you can't put in a big one there. Get yeah. a little one. All right, so if you go up these stairs, you'll yes. find the headmaster. Headmaster's up here, but I can't just kill the headmaster. I could knock him out if I want to, but who cares? Like, oh, Santa, you know, who cares? It's just Santa. I mean, he's supposed to be on rooftops. That's it's true. Literally, my job. That would literally be great job, if buddy. they added that as like a conditional thing for Santa Forty Seven that he could yeah. be on roofs without anyone noticing. So that guy went running off somewhere because he saw me trespassing. But still, that's not going to be an issue. He'll I'll, be back. I will find him. I'll be back. Because I do specifically want to kill him while wearing Santa 47. That's not a condition for the mission. That's just a condition for me. Yes. So here you see someone is having trouble with their air conditioning. Or someone living in this uh, apartment pissed someone else off. Because someone took a battle axe to this thing. So now let's go back. We have our battle axe that is stored somewhere invisibly on Santa 47. Now, when I first did this escalation contract. Because I have done this. And I won't give you any spoilers for it. Yeah. I forgot that you could, or I didn't know that the battle axe would stay on you, so I would throw it over every time and then okay. go get it. It worked. Yeah. So you can see here, my Santa attracted some attention. He's a yes. famous individual, you know. They want my autograph, so I'm going to wait for these people to move, which it seems like they're already moving along. And then I'll go take care of our good friend, the headmaster. Or as he soon might be, the headless master. There, have you been working on that one since you knew that this is the, you wanted me to do this one? Have you been just working on the jokes? No, I have not, but okay. I thought it was a fun one to do. It was a pretty fun one. And now we get one of my favorite animations in any video game. Fuck. Boom! Yep, just the overhand. That guy is very dead. Extremely dead. I'll just leave the battle axe there, you know. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. See ya. <laughs> I love that Santa attracts no extra attention. I, just, I mean, he's... it's Saint Nick, you yeah. know? He's, he's just, you know, a jolly old man. Why, you would never suspect him of murder. It's the perfect disguise. It really is. I, I can't wait for the third Hitman remake when he is Santa 47 for the whole movie. Yeah, they finally just make the Christmas Hitman movie yes. that we've all been waiting for. A very Hitman Christmas. <sighs> so that's... That's uh, level one. That's level one. Like I said, pretty easy as long as you know where all that stuff is. That's, I think there might be another battle axe that's in like a really weird there location is. on the map. But that's the easy one to do. Okay, so now... Okay, so this is... The, I can see a trend here. So we have to go kill the headmaster with the battle axe and then disguised as the headmaster sneak into presumably the school to go kill this um, Mr. Soldier Man. I love that they've given like everyone a name and sometimes like... Yeah. You know, very like culturally specific names too. They didn't just, like, call them Bob and Jim or something. No, yeah, we, we have to... They, they, you know, were very diligent in making this yes. game and giving every single NPC. Because you can do this, um, I don't usually do it much, but the, you can do player-created contracts where you go into the map and you can just um, assign targets to random NPCs and they all have, like I said, they all have names. All That's the NPCs insane. are, like... Because they're all the same NPCs in the map every single time, and uh, NPCs do not come in at any point. Yeah. So it's like a closed um, system, basically. So it is it is pretty crazy when you kind of dig into how much of this, you know, how thoroughly this game was built out. All right, so you're going to go get the axe again. Yeah. So, we're, so we haven't um, had to complicate this first step yet, so we can just go through with it. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, motherfucker. I'm going to bring you a present. I just have to go get your present really quick. <laughs> it's over around here. Um, it'll be... I, you're gonna love it, I promise. I'll be right back. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited. The elves worked really hard on this gift. <laughs> they were sharpening it all night. Yep. That's why it's in the radiator there, is because if they dropped it from the sleigh. Exactly, yeah. It's just... 
Yeah, the, the elves do a recon pass um, yes. every Christmas Eve before um, Santa has to go. And yeah, they just sort of like drop that one off for me. I like this version of Santa where the naughty or nice list is if you've been naughty, you get a battle axe to the face. Yeah. I mean, and honestly, if you've been nice, you might also. It's, get a, yeah. it's, it's more, um, you know, it, it depends on how Santa's feeling on that particular Christmas. But it's definitely, we've moved on from Lumps of Coal. Like, we're yes. past that at this point. You know, there's way too many people. You can't just... Well, coal is bad for the environment, Sean. Exactly. And people are bad for the environment. The environment. That's I'm true. saving the environment. All right. So let's go give Mr. Headmaster his present. Yep. Pledge. Got my battle axe. And... What the... <laughs> Great there animation. Headmaster. You gonna hide his body? No, I don't need... Nobody comes up here, so I don't need to. Like, I'm probably going to drop this axe somewhere. Yeah, you... attract you, slightly more attention, but... You do not need it to kill the next guy, No, so. but it's nice to have, it you is. know? It's, it's fun. Alright, so now... See, this is... You're using the geography of this map, because we know it pretty well. But if you yeah. go right behind here, now you're gonna be in the compound where all the soldiers live. Yeah. And here's your target is one of these two guys. Oh, he's, he's right there. Yeah. That's pretty easy. Yeah, actually, I am just going to take care of this the old-fashioned way. And just go. Nice. So once again, as long as you sort of know the layout of the map and what you can kind of get away with, it, it definitely, these, these escalation contracts take good advantage of your knowledge of these kinds of things and, and of the gameplay systems. This is a good way to sort of test that stuff in a way that's a bit more focused and regimented than what the sort of more freeform main missions are. Good run. See you around. Uh, huh? Those people are related to the headmaster, so they kind of knew, hey, the, I look nothing like him. Yeah. But, you know, too late. Because once you get to that gate, you have powers of teleportation, apparently, and can escape. I mean, yeah. Nobody, nobody can follow you past that gate. I mean, look yeah. at that. That opening, that's sort of tight. <laughs> It'd be hard to slip past that if you're in a big group. All right, so... Next level. Next level, level three. Break into the safe and steal the contents. Oh, great. So one of these ones. So I have no idea where that... I presume that safe is probably somewhere in the school is where I'm going to be looking for it. I'm not going to tell you. Yes, well, I don't I don't want you to tell me. All right. If I wanted you to tell me, I would ask you to tell me. And then I would make you tell me because I'm Santa 47. And we're back. We're back once again in the red. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. Yes. The satin suit. Did I go the wrong way already? No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Go up yeah, there. You go. Like I said, I never start in that normal starting location on this map. Yeah. I usually start with a disguise. This is pr this and Sapienza are my two favorites, so I know them the best. But yeah, like you will probably pick a map I'm less familiar with too, yeah. and we'll have fun with that. Now you could distract him and get by without him noticing. Yeah, you. if I had if I had taken not the shuriken, that would yeah, be a lot easier to do. I, but, I, again, I can't just hit him with a shuriken. Next time, yeah. I'll come in with a bat or something, a concealed bat, and just whack him in the head with it to make this... to expedite this process. You can't kill him with the axe once he's down. Oh, that's I true. Did, yeah. Yeah, that's right, because you can't lock onto him. So, sadly, you have to keep him awake. I wish there was, like, an item like smelling salts or something where you could wake up your targets once you've beat them down. That would be pretty good. Hit, for pretty Hitman 2. Hunted. That's weird. It's an interesting response. So you really got spotted there. I wonder. Yeah. What happened? It must. I must have been like in his line of sight for slightly longer than I usually have been. Yeah. Well, it looks like he's alone. Yes. They. They. You know. They're not going to to believe. I mean, what did that guy tell him? Like, they, they have this old man who is sitting up on this roof, like basically half asleep. He says, "Oh, Santa Claus came up, ran by me, and then jumped up on this ledge and climbed around my rooftop. Please help me." Are you really going to believe that? You going to investigate that again? It's the brilliance of Santa Forty Seven. It's an the old man disguise. just sitting here smoking hookah. Also, exactly. Boy, that axe really went through his face. Oh yeah, no, it's it's. I mean, it's a battle axe. It's. Yeah. It's going to do some damage. Good God. Anyway, you also just grabbed the Headmaster's Key, which is an yeah. item up here, which is like a universal key for the compound you're about to enter. Yeah. Which is useful. Yeah, it's a little bit faster than using the lockpick. And if I was disguised as a um, soldier, which I might just pop on that disguise, because once I kill this guy, I don't need to be the Headmaster anymore. Um, you are not suspicious if you use keys to unlock doors. Which is also true of life. 
Yes. Generally, like, if you use keys to unlock doors, people will just accept that fact. Um, Whereas if you use a lockpick... Yeah, it's a bit more suspicious. Poor bastard. <laughs> Alright, no. both down. Take that. Change to his clothes. I'll take his assault rifle. Just in case. Probably not going to need it. But this who knows? Messy. And then we'll start the investigation to figure out where the fuck this thing is. This APC is fun that you can find the codes to um, activate it in the mission and then kill all those people. Um, it, it's a very effective distraction if you do that. Got to use our handy dandy headmaster key. Move it to the compound. I'll just kill this buddy with my shuriken. Which you don't have to do here because you are a soldier and you haven't done no, anything. But yet. like if you can take care of bodies in ways that like nobody's going to ever find out about you might as well. Yes. It's, it's, you know, unless you're playing for score, which, ha, ah, yeah. score. Yeah, my general policy is to murder as frequently and often as you can get away with it in this game. No, it's, it's called Hitman. Exactly. It's not called Peace Man. It'd be a really boring game. Here we go. This is something in the uh, mission, the, the video that we recorded that didn't have the right audio and everything. That's the hole that I was trying to remember how to get up. Yes. That I was trying to tell you, because you were doing a, an elusive target on, or a, a escalation contract on this map also. And I just remembered where it was. So let's go try to move over to... Oh, they highlight it on your map. They usually don't do that. They must have added that in a patch. I can just go find the... Um, safe is basically in the general's quarters. Nice. Here. This is this is much easier than I thought it was going to be because again, um, back in my day, playing Hitman, that was not something that you could do. So the one difficulty here is you've got this guy. Yeah, which I've. This is a guy I have killed so many times in this game. Yes. Oh, that guy's turning around, I'm trying to remember what was the easiest way to take care of him that I used to do. And it has been a long time since I played Marrakesh. Because while this is your favorite map, this is not necessarily one that I go back to all the time. So I, I don't dislike any of the maps, but this is not one of the ones that I have a a particular fondness yeah, a for, a particular affection for. So I think it has a it has a strange layout where it's like it's very sectioned off, and the two sort of areas yeah. of the map don't really interact with each other almost at all. No, and my one complaint uh, about the escalation contracts is there's really none in the in the consulate area, which is too bad. Yeah, they don't really do that much with that because that is like the more kind of the crazier one to do in the um, normal mission. Uh, yeah. Like the consulate is pretty elaborate. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. If you can get that guy down here, you can hide his body. Yeah, down there. But it looks like he's not coming he's yet. He's not taking the bait. I think he probably picked up my other shuriken, too. Oh, nope, he just left it there. Nice. Because he doesn't want it. So you know what? I think I normally did. If, you can, I if I just you get him not. suspicious, yeah, hey. he will just follow you down here. I think this is normally how I took care of him. That's one way to do it. There he comes. Oh, well, that's easier. I had a lot of uh, trial and error here when I tried this. Yeah, you hide. Yeah, I'll hide. Your body... Ah. All right, let's stuff this in here. And if he took his uniform, you could just go dismiss that other guy. Exactly. Or I could dismiss him to hell. Or I can just, yeah, he's just fine. He's not doing anything. All right, so where's the safe? There it, there is. it is. Let's see what you got to steal. Use my handy dandy pick lock. Good thing, good thing I took my lock pick into this. Yes. Take his wine, his vodka bottle. His vodka bottle. That must be a really great bottle of vodka because you have ended a lot of lives to get it. Yeah. It's, yeah I mean, I hope it's worth it. I don't know the, who the client is. I don't know why they have ordered me to do all of this. Um, so I, I hope they're very satisfied with this, this bottle of vodka that, I mean, what I killed. I killed the headmaster. I killed the two people outside. And I killed that guy's. So four lives. For one bottle of vodka. For one bottle of vodka. It could be worth it. Hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? It's not, you know, it's not our place to ask these kinds of questions, honestly. We're just here to get our mission, get our orders, and then carry them out. <laughs> if I had gone and picked up the um, truck codes, I could have left on this truck over here, but I forgot to do that, or the truck key. So instead, I'm just going to have to have a bit of a walk. But... So far, so good on this mission. Uh, having that thing of where it highlighted where the uh, the the vodka was was very helpful. It's, so it didn't used to do that. 
Um, no, not as far as I remember. I mean, definitely okay. not when I did it on the um, elusive target, because I remember wandering around Paris forever trying to figure out where the fuck it was. But yeah, now... I And I honestly, I like that they have put it in there, because oh, at the very least, they need to oh, do something that gave you a hint as to where those things were. Yeah. You can obviously, of course, um, play this game and take off that instinct mode. That is an option you can do if you want to be that be hardcore hard. about it. Yeah, but I... You know, I like sort of just playing with the AI and stuff, and so I'm not as interested in doing, like, the super crazy stealth thing all the time in this game. Yep. All right, some things have been moved, removed, or added to the mission. Okay, so that could mean a great number of different things. So we're going to just go in with the same strategy, and along the way, see what has changed, and potentially my entire plan might be ruined by what they have done. Who knows? I'll we'll have we're to find, find out. out. You, of course, already know Jonathan. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> it's, the, it's the truth. All right. Santa's back once again. We're having a lot of Christmases in Marrakesh lately. Yes. You know, it's uh, it's an interesting sort of regional tradition they have. It's Christmas every day in Marrakesh. Exactly. So let's go up. Again, I could do this. This would be so much easier if I was not wearing the Santa outfit because I could get a different disguise. That would mean I wouldn't be as suspicious up here. But you so rarely have the opportunity to be Santa Claus. And yep. I, I relish it whenever I have a chance. In life as well as in yeah. Hitman. And there's something that's nice about giving this old man, like, a chance to fight back, a chance to resist. He has an opportunity. He knows that I'm coming. And every time he fails, he, he, he doesn't take the necessary precautions. Should have worn a helmet. Yeah. I don't I'm, know if it would really stop the, uh, the battle axe. But. So the moment of truth here is I don't know if the battle axe is still going to be there because that could have been moved. And it has been moved. That was my big worry, worry about them saying that things have been changed. Because now that battle axe is not there. So now I'll have to figure out where to get a new battle axe. So this is going to be a fun, fun little adventure. Because I, there is no battle axe weapon you can unlock as far as I know. I have a katana that I could have brought in, Masamune. Um, but I do not have a battle axe. So it's a machete? Yes, I could use. have brought in my machete. So they did edit, um, I just remember, they patched in this ability to aim around corners. That was not huh. originally in the game. I've not seen that yeah, yet. Yeah, there's like... The, the amount of um, little updates they have made to Hitman over the course of I mean, a year, basically, now has been pretty crazy in all the little details and, and little tiny abilities they've added in like that. And and also, you can, like, pull people off of ledges that you normally would not have been able to do. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game. So, it doesn't look like there's a battle axe up here, as far as I can see. So, I'm going to have to freak out this old man once again. And he's going to take his head mask and he just can't. Actually, you know what? I'm going to guess there's a battle axe somewhere in that compound. So I'm going to actually infiltrate the compound and go get the vodka first. Um, and then have to come back and remember not to kill that dude yet until I get the headmaster disguise. We'll see if I can swing it that way. Because I have no idea where a battle axe would be. Like, and If I, you can swing it? The, the yes, axe? Yes, get it? They, yes. I didn't want to draw too much attention to my clever punning, but... You know, that's what you're here for, is to ruin yeah. my jokes. So yeah, we're going to go in here. Because again, there's a battle axe that is somewhere in the marketplace on this map, but I have no idea. I don't remember where it is, and I have no idea if it's still there um, now that they have changed where some of the locations are. I'm just going to pop that dude in the head. Grab his clothes. Get his gun. What I'm hoping is that maybe there's a battle axe in the um, general's quarters. If I was designing this mission, that would be a place I might move it. Because in the normal mission, there is a saber that you can get in there that you need to do some challenges on this map with. In here, up here. That's cool you can climb up here. I didn't, Yeah. This would have been good for me to know when I did yes, this. Yes, it's, again, it's the crazy thing about these maps is that there's so many different ways to get around. And the more you play the game, the more you see how intricate and how detailed these maps can be. Um, to the point where, like, you know, this mission... If, like, this was one of the first things I did on Marrakesh was trying to do this mission, it would be incredibly difficult. Sure just, like, doing, like, this, like, the first three levels. But having played it enough, you can sort of move along the process, figure out how to take care of some of these issues. Like this guy. Yes. Who was about... Like Mr. Red Beret. Oh. <laughs> okay, that did not go quite according to plan. But, but it's fine. As long as it's within the window, who cares? You know? It's one of the things I like about, um, I appreciate in stealth games when you have a little window yeah. for when people notice you that you can take them out. Um, there's nothing more annoying than in a game when 
a stealth game where the kid like you have been discovered and your cover is blown the second that happens and then there's nothing you can do about it even if you've killed the person who discovered you almost instantaneously so there is a battle axe in here they have moved the vodka though so i'm gonna have to go find that that's over there but my guess was right there's a battle axe um i can carry the battle axe openly as long as i'm wearing a soldier's uniform and there's the general who's you know, going to be very disappointed to see that his battle axe is no longer in his office, his prized possession. That someone previously stole and jammed into someone's air conditioning unit. Um, that he went through so much trouble to retrieve, and now it's gone once again. Now it's in a harder place, because there's the vodka, but there's yeah. a red beret guy who will spot you no matter what you're wearing. Yes, that's true. So you're going to have to be careful here. I'm going to wait for a second and see what this guy does. Because these other people don't give a shit, because I rank, or they think I'm a higher rank than them. Sir. So they're not going to care. Okay, let's see if I can do this quick enough. Quick enough, quick enough. Oh, because I don't have a key, I'm going to be suspicious here. You got the vodka, though. I got the vodka. Not suspicious enough. Not suspicious enough. And let's get out of here. Wow. Yep. That went way better for you than it ever did for me when I did this. Well, that's I'm a trained professional, Jonathan. I know what I'm doing. If you know what you're doing, you might have gone out the window, which would lead you right back to the path you were on. Yeah, previously. well, like I said, I haven't played this map that much to rem in recent times to remember all the most efficient excuses, pathways. Excuses, excuses. I thought you were a professional. I am a professional in that I'm getting the fucking job done, Jonathan, okay? Like you were saying, I'm doing this better than you were doing this, because that leads outside. You said faster, to... not necessarily better. Uh, except for you said that I am doing it better. And I didn't pick up those keys, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, you'll them? be fine. Yeah. All right, so now you got to kill the headmaster. Yes, and then come back. This is, like, one of the things you have to be careful of is not jumping ahead because I had this brief instinct to go, like, oh, I can go kill that guy now, but I can't because I need the headmaster disguise to kill him. Luckily, your axe will stay on your back. Yes. You're somewhere... You know, he absorbs it into his person. He's, you know, he's been trained very well. It's like Final Fantasy XV or Nier Automata where the weapons just materialize. Exactly, you know. I would not be surprised if Hitman 47 was somehow also an android on top of being like a genetic creation or something. Because I think he's like a clone or something crazy. The original Hitman movie with Timothy Oliphant goes way deep into all of that. And it's terrible. But, like, if you want to know all about Agent 47's origins... Oh, there we go. Wow, that was good. Yeah, I, I like that kill. The, the battle axe kill. It's a strange... I've never quite seen someone kill uh, someone with a battle axe like that of slitting their throat with a battle axe. How many people have you watched die by battle axe? Well, I mean in, like, fiction. Oh, okay. not, not in real life, you know. Huh. I don't know if I trust you anymore. Can I get that angle? Because that would be an amazing kill. Uh, almost. Come on, dude. Come on. I can't throw a shuriken from here. That would have been great, though. I think I might be able to swing it, because he's in a different area. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. There we go. That was great. So like I said, I'm a fucking professional. Hopping around. I get shit done, Jonathan. Even if I sometimes get lost in that general's compound. When the time comes. Lethal is what I am. All right, and uh, that's level four. Yep. Scare the shit out of the headmaster's family as I leave. Hopefully, unless I spend enough. Oh, they're still. They're still... How get a fucking life? How long are you guys gonna sit here talking in front of my fucking house? Jesus Christ! How scary would that be, Sean? If you were just sitting outside your house one day and like someone came out wearing like your dad's clothes, but it was not. Your dad? Yeah. That would be fucking freaky. That would be yes. That's that's like a Twilight Zone episode yes. or something for sure. So there we go. We took care of level four. The last level. You were allowed one disguise change while playing oh. the mission. So everything okay. else is the same, but you can only change your disguise <sighs> once. I, I want to be Santa Claus! <laughs> I want to be Santa Claus, but it would be so much harder to be Santa Claus, Jonathan! <laughs> so Fuck! Now, so now you're going to start in the compound, which is a smarter <sighs> place to start this one. Ah, I, I, wanted, I was this close to being Santa Claus for all five, but it would have been ridiculously harder to try to do that whole thing as Santa Claus and then change into the headmaster. Yeah, because the thing is, um, I'm not going to be able to change into the um, Red Beret dude, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue here. Uh, yeah, because it did not affect how you got the safe last yeah. time. Hopefully, I'm, I'm like the big 
uh, question mark in my plan so far of what I did last time is I got pretty lucky on that safe one of that not fucking me because, you know, there's a just that little bit of extra wiggle room you can have with suspicion in this game that you can kind of take a chance on. So you, and see you here, you see here another nice little feature they um, patched into the game that was not originally there is that little hollow dot above that dude's head. That tells me that when I stop blending in, I'm going to be suspicious to him. That was not there originally in the game. It yeah. was a really useful addition. Yeah, because it would be you. You would have to know basically. Yeah, or or you like unblend and then see that, and you're like, oh shit, and then blend in immediately again. Right. Um, I have, I definitely lost a couple of missions that way, um, when I originally played through the game. So I still am going to need to get that battle axe. Do you um, want to get the battle axe first or the vodka? Yeah, I'm going to get the battle axe first because I'm going to be suspicious once I leave here um, with the vodka. So we're going to do it in this order again. And who might you Track this dude over here. You. Hey, you. Pull him down. This is one of these, like, this strategy that I'm doing here is something that it took me a long time playing this game to sort of come around to realizing, oh... Like, being detected and being suspicious is another tool you can use to manipulate the AI to your advantage. Um, that is the kind of thing that when you're first playing the game... Oh, oh and they noticed me. So that did not go as smoothly because that guy did not follow me all the way down there. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play this out even though it's, this is not going well. But, you know, might as well. You can survive so much easier in this game now because they added in um, more health on the normal difficulty. So we'll see if I can just... Just gotta be careful just if the guy fuck from... this one up. Be careful if the guy that from outside comes in yeah. that, that is your target. That's a good point. All right, we are having a full-on gunfight here. Yep. This is fun. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have just brought in my really nice assault rifle, but this, this shitty one will have to do. This is actually going pretty well so far. This is where a disguise change would come in handy. <laughs> yeah, but but unfortunately, it's That's not, gonna not possible. No. Fuck you! you! You just so rarely get the opportunity to just completely let loose in this game. Let's get some more ammo. And it works. It's actually, I think, an un, uh, underappreciated part of this game is it's actually a pretty good third-person shooter, even sure, though you yeah. very rarely play it that way. It definitely, it's it's the it's very unique as a third-person shooter. Like the amount of you know, recoil on this gun is pretty crazy, and so you really have to better the trigger to try to yeah knock people out. So that's there's the axe. It's not going to be great um, losing my assault rifle, but now you can axe on the plus people. side. Yes, I can do this. Oh, that's got to hurt. That guy's got a headache. Is that that's he's got a splitting headache? Is yeah, what I, I would have said you know to really that's better um drive the point home. Okay, this is going to be my death. This is going to be the enemy. Oh, but that guy nope. stopped shooting. Nope. That was not wise. <laughs> I think I might actually do this. You um, might pull through. This is great. This this is pretty absurd, but, you know, it's a nice... It's it's different than because otherwise this would have been basically the exact same playthrough as level 4. Uh, we'll, we'll see something slightly different here. We just murder everybody with a battle axe. But like you said, I'm going to have to be careful not to kill. I would recommend going out the window. It's oh, right yeah. there. Yeah. Is there a pipe or something that over here? You can just drop down. Okay. So and oh, this, you can, yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> that guy was yes, not suspecting yeah. that. That was not a good place to be standing. Uh, we'll just go out through here. Yeah, and just be careful about the guy. You can actually see him on your yeah. mini map there. See, and this time, this is maybe that guy who was over here maybe survived. Um, I actually don't know where he went. But, you know, the guy that was just sort of out here with a smoke break that we killed every other time. You know, maybe know. he maybe he's the one who gets away this time. Probability-wise, that is unlikely. Yeah, we did kill a lot of people in that compound, huh? You did. Yeah, see, this is where if I had those codes... Just start fucking people yeah. up. It is going to be a little hard now going after that dude once I get the headmaster this guy. So, oh! Oh! I was just punch him in the dick there. Ah, uh, snap back. There we go. You were on stairs, so it didn't count. Yeah, the, that, uh... it's a little... One of the, the things in the game that's a bit fiddly is the animation, I guess, doesn't work. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is probably this is probably not good. This is not good. You can do it. You can do it. Just just keep moving. Just go. 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 Oh, my God. I'm so close. Oh, my God. Yes. You're okay. doing it. You're doing it. 
Because that's, like, the one thing about even though they've given you more health, the um, as you can see, it takes a long time for your health to recharge in this game. Um, yes. So even though you have a lot more health, you cannot take sustained damage, um, like, at all. Wow. Oh. This is going pretty this good. Guy. This is going pretty well. Now, this is going to be probably the hardest part. Um, it's going and getting that dude. <laughs> Who has moved quite far away. Yeah, as the headmaster, but we'll figure something out. And I can uh, maybe I, I'm gonna wait for just a second and let this cool off because I have burned my one. Oh hey, you know just chilling out. There's nothing suspicious about this. Nothing suspicious. <laughs> hey, yeah no I was freaking out. Um, there's a murdered man, a naked murdered man over there. It's pretty crazy. So I'm I'm just up here. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. You know for your due diligence and everything. All right, I might get moving if I were you. There we go. Well, I mean, no, those people are not suspicious of me at all. I That's was a good fine. point. Okay. Yeah. Like, 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 because like I was saying, I have burned my one costume disguise. Oh, but there's someone. Someone is looking at me. Who's looking at me? I think it's someone in one of the adjacent rooftops. You know, or it's, it's because it doesn't, it's not a three-dimensional arrow. I, I think it actually is one of those people down there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get back in the complex now. Wee. A lot of blood. <laughs> a lot of your blood on that wall. Oh, yeah. Okay, that didn't last long. Uh, Alright, run, 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 run. Move, 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 move. Alright. These are very sturdy wooden boxes. Extremely sturdy. Yeah. You don't need the axe anymore. Yeah, remember. I know. I know I don't need it, but I want it. This door's already unlocked. Here. Close the door. Close the door. Um, okay, that guy's just there. I might go grab an assault rifle if I were you. I want to kill him. If I can't be Santa Claus, I at least want to kill him with my fucking axe, okay? All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to succeed. But Just get some case. handgun ammo. Just in case. Because this also this is also where all these are. Um, Bunch of remote explosives. I've yeah. never really found a use for them, but they're there. At least in this. A use for them. Well, you know what I mean. Here's a use for them. Boom. <laughs> there we go. That's a good ragdoll um, there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Just use a gun. Just use a fucking gun. Take cover. Take cover. Here you go. Enjoy it. That didn't go through the window, did it? Nope. nope. Um. This doesn't work nearly as well as it does in Uncharted, but I've got a lot of ammo. Kill that guy. This is ridiculous. Okay. Okay. I can do this. That dude's still there. It's like 30. Just shoot him! I I, I want to do this my way, Jonathan. Yeah. <sighs> um. Still have two more of these things. Right? Just throw that into the hallway. Well, that really bounced. I don't even know where that went. I killed that oh, guy. I got though. one guy. Oh, oh. Okay. He's right there. No, he's not. He's over here. This is him. This is him. This is him. What's your plan? I wanted my battle axe. I'm going to have to abandon it. I'm just going to have to kill him. God okay, damn it. there. Finally. I had to give up. Oh. You have a job to do, Sean. You're a professional. Yeah, but you know, I also, you know... If, what's the point of doing a job if you don't enjoy it, Jonathan? <laughs> I guess that's true. Because I'm still not out of the shit. No, you're not. Uh, get that assault rifle. Stop machine gun. It will do fine. Okay. Go for a Run. Okay. There Please. are two guys yeah, out I there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I need to get out of there. Oh, take cover. This is so okay. ridiculous. Okay. That worked. This guy's behind me. This guy's behind me. Die to die to die. Die to die. Okay. See, this is All why right. the extra health is good. It allows you to do ridiculous yes. shit like this. This never would have worked before in this game. No. At all. I would have died hundreds of times before this. Um. Oh. Oh. I always appreciate it in third-person shooters when you can switch your shoulder. It's very nice. Man, if only you had the truck keys. 
Yeah, I'm not going to go back in there for this. No, no, that'd be a horrible idea. I shot that box. You well, shot that box with boss. I was, I was hoping that he would, um, you know, spin around the box the way you normally do in the third person shooter where you're taking cover. He decided not to, though. It's, you know. Kind of might have done. I didn't really need to kill those people, so maybe that was just Agent 47 saying enough is enough at this point. The temptation to change the disguise is also really profound in this game right now. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, no, I can't. I will lose the mission immediately. All these people are dying. Is that the general? Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. The general's dead. You Sorry. have taken out this whole militia for one yeah. bottle of vodka. Uh, this isn't even where the fuck I need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can loop around. You're fine. But there's also lots of other people that way, too. Yeah, they're, they're not, they don't have guns. You've killed most everywhere. people with guns. They're everywhere. Sean, promise me. I know what I'm selling you. What are you selling me? To, just, well, you're going a, a bad way now, but that's okay. Yeah, well, fuck off. I'm, I'm flustered. Okay. Okay. Just go towards the normal exit. Or through the bazaar, there's one on uh, in the marketplace. Yeah. Well, that's the one you need the um, key for, the other, the consulate car key. No, no, no. There's in the bazaar. To your right. Yes. There's... Oh, I thought you were pointing me to the one that's over to the left. No, no, no. Yeah. There's a couple here. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Old man with an assault rifle. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Yeah, you're really going to want to move people. It's just, just wipe a... out a couple of them. It's just a bad idea to be here. I need help here. All right. It's just. They're not even real people. They're dumb AI. It doesn't okay. Count. It doesn't count. There we go. You did it. Textbook. That's how you're supposed. To, <laughs> that's what they designed the mission. Um, that's how it was supposed to be done. This has um, been a, a walkthrough, really. Yes. Yeah. I only, I have two regrets. One regret is that I wasn't Santa Claus the whole time. My other regret is that I didn't kill that last dude with the battle axe. But. I have no regrets. I think this went great. There we go. Mission one... accomplished. There we go. So that's that is another escalation mission down for me. That's the Bahadur dexterity. Yes. Next time I will play an escalation contract and we'll see how I do as Agent Forty Seven. Yes. We will.